वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सीक्वल ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द आउटर ज्वाइंट एंड द इन द विद इन द आउटर ज्वाइंट आई विल डिस्कस लेफ्ट आउटर ज्वाइंट राइट आउटर ज्वाइंट फुल आउटर ज्वाइंट एंड ऑल्सो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्रॉस ज्वाइंट एंड द सेल्फ ज्वाइंट विद द प्रैक्टिकल यूज केसेस ओके सो हाउ वी कैन यूज दिस ऑल द ज्वाइन इन द रियल टाइम इन्वायरमेंट रियल टाइम सीनारियो Uh, last video i already discussed the concept of the join uh, why join is required and uh, also i also covered the inner join concept so uh, i am just recommend you just please go watch uh, the video number 36 uh, before watching the video number uh, 37 so you will get better understanding uh, because the join uh, is uh, play very important role into the sequel in term of the uh, real time practical point of view a uh, real time working point of view or uh, if you attending any interview uh, definitely you will get a question uh, related to uh, join so uh, please uh, please put more concentration on the join and uh, this concept uh, is uh, basically very uh, useful to uh, handle any type of the requirement or any type of the question so uh, uh, without wasting our time uh, just uh, let's start with the uh, learning of the outer join so let's go to the jump of the sql server management studio so uh, i uh, already have the two table okay so this table i already discussed in the uh, last video as well that is the employee details and employee salary so uh, last video i discuss about how we can retrieve the uh, common record from the table that is the by using the inner join so why the outer join is required so sometimes if when we work okay so if the we required the matching record as well as the unmatching record okay so when the unmatching record is also come into the picture uh, we need to require the join so uh, basically outer join will help you out to uh, fetch the unmatching record fetch the common record as well as the unmatching record from the left table uh, from the right table all the record from the both table so that is very helpful if you use the outer join so coming to the uh, coming to the outer join the outer join is divided again three part first one is the left outer join second is the right outer join and the third one is the full outer join so what is the left outer join left outer join is basically uh, give the output common record as well as the record from the left table okay so common record is nothing but the matching record as well as the all the record from the left table so which table is the left and which table is the right who will decide it okay so basically sql engine will treat uh the before uh, whatever the left join we written so this is the left table and after whatever the table is written so this is the right table so so the concept is the uh, syntax is the same uh, like the inner join so just you can use the left join or you can use the left outer join both are the same so suppose if you are writing the left outer join in this query and uh, here we writing the left join only so both are same nothing is different okay so both are same so outer is not the mandatory like the inner is was not the mandatory so outer is also not the mandatory so you can write the left join or you can full write the left outer join so i comparing with this employee table employee id table data so the concept is saying that the common record as well as the a record from the uh, left table so if you execute this part of the code uh, if you execute this part of the code you can see the common record is coming this is the common record uh, like the matching record and the record from the left table so uh, this record is coming from the left table which is nothing but employee detail and in front of whatever the column is there uh, you can use this see this column is coming as the null because a left outer join we use so uh, it's coming record like null 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 okay now if you write the star so data will be come from the both table okay so data from the left table and the right table all the column will become 
uh, so null 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 is coming but if you have requirement to retrieve the data from the uh, only one table so suppose if you have the requirement to only employ detail you can write the ed, ed dot star so you will get only record from the left or whatever it employ detail table is there suppose if you want to retrieve the data from the employ table simply you can write the e here okay so you will get the record from the employ detail table employ salary table okay so like uh, if whatever you put so data will be populate like this now uh, one is a very important concept uh, which is applied into the uh, left join in the most cost cases so i have this two table employ detail and the department table is there okay so uh, you can see employ detail table uh, we have the department id 1 2 3 4 6 uh, null 5 but you can see 6 null 5 department is not available into the department table so if someone asks you how you can find the employ detail which department id not available in the department table by using the join and this this uh, uh, this scenario or this requirement we can also achieve uh, by using the sub query uh, which i will discuss in the uh, next video but how we can achieve by using the join okay so this is the this type of the question you will get into the interview okay so how we can find the employee detail which department id not available in department table or any type of the question like uh, uh, how we can find the uh, product detail which is the product is not available in the uh, fact internet sales data like this any type of the uh, question you will get in the real time okay so uh, so we already learned the concept that uh, whatever data is not available in the uh, right table the value will be coming as a null okay so if you execute if you use the join here left join and department table uh, you can see whatever the data is not available in the department table the value is coming null okay so this value is null this value is null but whatever department id is available is value coming 4 4 so we get uh, we we go uh, understand one key point here so if you filter where department dot department id is null that department is not available so i put it is d dot department d dot department is nothing but department table is null so if you ex execute this code uh, you will get all the employee information which department id is not available so uh, like this so uh, because we not required all this so uh, if you copy and if you paste here so there is no mess up of the code and just you can put this uh, star here okay and i need the only from employee detail table so you can put ed dot star so you will get all the employee information which data not available into the department table now you can see six null five seven only is coming so if you understand like this type of the scenario you can do the practical you can do the practice you can take any two table and you can practice it so this is the very trust me this is a very useful to crack any interview and this type of the question only they will ask you into the interview only now uh, if you understand the left join uh, this is the same the right join okay so uh, this is the just the opposite of the left join so record from common record as well as the record from the right table so this is the just the opposite so you can see all the data coming from the uh, common record from the all the data coming from the right table like this so uh, full auto join is the basically used to fetch all the record and this uh, full auto join cross join is the you no know, useful in the uh, real time and uh, you will also get very less number of the question in the interview uh, because there is no using in the real time uh, full auto join cross or join is basically giving the uh, cartesian product multiplication of the record so in the both table we have the 10 10 record so uh, it coming the uh, 100 record if you use the uh, cross join so if suppose have the 10 million record in one table 10 million record in second table you get the 100 million record so this is a very performance will be go down sometimes you will use the left self join okay so self join is basically you is the inner join but uh, why we call the self join the reason is whenever we use the inner join with the self in one table like self calling okay so here i have one uh, scenario where the employee id employee name manager id is there 
so you can see uh, Ravi manager ID 2 uh, Gaurav manager ID 7 so 7 uh, and uh, same manager ID 5 so 5 is nothing but Aurora Ravi manager 2 is nothing but Gaurav so how we can find the manager name so here we use the uh, we use the table and give the alias name and here the same table I use and here give the different alias name e1 e2 and e2 dot manager id is equal to e1 dot manager id and if you retrieve this code okay so if you retrieve the code you will get the who is manager is there okay so uh, like this uh, if some if something we if you using in the real time with the same table this concept is called the uh, self join okay so uh, this is the all about the join and uh, I will uh, discuss a couple of more interview question okay related to joint so you will uh, better understanding uh, how we can work with the joint and how we can uh, solve the interview question in the joint so uh, thank you so much for the watching this video I will meet again in next video thank you